physical ha- like manifests as like mental confidence and strength and and trust in yourself so for me that was a big thing of like yeah how they're you know there's not just like our our confidence and our um mental strength but how there is this combination i'm sure you've seen it a lot as a coach as people like improve and progress that maybe their their confidence or their ability to speak in front of people or their ability to communicate what they're thinking and feeling um for me that was a big correlation between those two things of feeling more comfortable in my skin and then more comfortable in like my own body and then more comfortable like outwardly in the world and it was certainly a, a process it was certainly time um i think that's that's a huge it's a big answer i think it's a that's the, one of the big answers like i think there's like a lot more to it but yeah i think but the how the psychological can be tapped into via the physical mm. and people associate changes that you make physically to your body whether you're trying to get really lean or whether you're trying to put on a lot of muscle or with uh, whatever you're that's com- two of the most common ones so that is seen as stereotypically superficial vapid but i think people get it messed up because the person you have to become in order to create those changes and make them last is not the same person you are right now mm. and so there is a massive Uh, shift and transformation in character and behavior in habits and your self-esteem and self-efficacy and confidence and like how you interface with the world around you dramatically shifts how you carry yourself mm. you talked about energy at the start of this conversation when someone walks in the room how they're presenting or like how they're communicating is going to like dictate like how you feel back mm. you could have if I use these examples because I think they're quite powerful people. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. He <laughs> yep. walked in the room. Yeah. Jay-Z walked. Jay-Z's like, you know, 50 cent like uh like these people walk in the room, they don't say a damn word, but you know that mm. you can feel them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But regardless of their success, it's like let's just look at like a strong physical presence how you carrying yourself speaks volumes, but how you can gain the confidence to do that can be tapped in through changing yourself physically. Mm. And I I think the part that you said about it's what it takes to get that is is for me what was like the most important part because like day one of starting my yoga practice was just day one if i just went one day and then left and never went back again like nothing not much would have happened but it's that showing up each day when you're not feeling great or you're not feeling very comfortable in your skin or you're not feeling very confident but it's like each time like hey you build a little more physical confidence oh i actually feel better oh wow i can do that oh wow like this feels good oh i'm no longer feel like i have to be at you know this is you know in a yoga sense i no longer have to feel like i have to be at the back of the room maybe i can be at the front of the room and mm. these are all just like little subtle yeah. shifts but they were so much more psychological than physical like the physical was in there and it was like led by the physical but it was a whole lot of like psychological and probably energetic things shifting at the same time but i i could like I probably didn't even notice it so much at the time but on reflection I can see that like over that time my confidence has built as well as things that have shifted in my body my ability my um trust in my body my physical capabilities all of those things as that has evolved so too has my confidence and a big part of it which you men- mentioned is like you have to dedicate time and energy and you have to like like commit to yourself you're, you're almost not almost saying you are saying i'm important so i'm going to like put myself first 